Stacy what? Beavers. Stacy Beavers. Yeah. Stacy Beavers. That's for you. Probably pretty good for the day. Anyway, on the skid tar, Mario took off, so he was kind of doing some of the grinding and learning, learning how I, I would do it anyway. Or you know, as as we try to push our creativity a little bit, we got to kind of tack together, at least the base tack together, mocked up. We got the three inch or the two inch, actually that's one and a half inch base tacked in. From the back, we're going to use these lug nuts as our our different uh, knobs for volume and stuff like that. I'm not sure what they all do, to be honest with you, because I don't play guitar. I just make goofy stuff. So we got that there. This is going to get some stainless steel screws, and we're going to grind this down and probably put a blue or a goldish candy or a pearl over the top of that, and then leave this bare metal. But we're going to do kind of a crazy crazy design something like that on the whole guitar because when the clear coat hits it it really pops out and really makes it more vibrant and looks pretty cool adds a little contrast and just a little little bit of coolness to it so we're using these I believe these are 1 16th welding rod just standard uh, rod you'd buy at the welding store for like a TIG welder they make good strings, um, plus the gold when everything's cleared and shiny and, and, and glistening and these really pop. They're using some 5 16 screws, um, actually they're little bolts to hold, to, to set our strings into as they go down and we can, I'm using those and then we can adjust them a little bit um, as, as we go to get them uh, lined up straight with the back of the guitar there. So we'll, we're gonna use this here up front and then we'll make a few little notches there, get the strings to set into it. Same thing back here, we'll probably run that back about there. So our goal would be to get this clear coated, this painted, and then we'll slide this in underneath the strings and screw that down to make it look like a two piece. Um, and then these are just some I think three quarter inch lug nuts that are kind of goofed up in a little strip so we can, you know, they're not hurting nothing to use there. And then this is his initials SB at the bottom to kind of make it a little more personalized.
fresh out of the paint booth. Got her cleared. Got our little good tar here. We basically made this out of 20 gauge sheet metal. Piece we cut out and then a strip welded on. Some one inch welding rod. Rolling rods for our strings, our 9 16 and half craftsman wrench for a woo woo bar, more of that same rod for our frets, some wing nuts to tighten our strings, and we painted this with House of Color Copper Penny, I believe. And that's pretty much it. Two by four or two by one and a half square box tubing up there for the neck. The rest is pretty much sheet metal. That was sheet metal, this is some stainless steel. Strips we had left over from another project, some stainless steel screws, some bug nuts for the volume controls, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's for Stace, SB for Stace, Stacy Beavers. Hope you enjoy. Remember, get out there and create something today, even if it sucks. Peace. Thanks for all the lessons, Stacy.